Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about quantitative uh, reasoning section in GRE. So let's start with what is the quantitative reasoning section. So quantitative reasoning section is a math section, basic math section, we'll, which you'll uh, come across in your GRE exam. So basically, you'll get either two or three sections of it. If you get three sections, it means one of the section out of three sections is an experimental section and that does not contribute to your marks that does not affect your marks even if you solve wrong in some if even if you solve some questions wrong but unfortunately a student who's writing exam cannot know which one of those is experimental so you have to solve every section as if it contributes to your marks and you have to try to solve every question in it correctly so coming to the mark mark marking the least you can score in quantitative section is 130, which means you have answered nothing. You got zero. You have answered uh, everything wrong. And the highest you can score is 170 out of 170, which means you have scored, you have done each and every question correctly, 40 out of 40. So coming to the types of questions, uh, I'll say first type of is single correct option questions, which means you'll have a question. You'll have four options in which one option is correct. You just have to mark that. And the second one is multiple correct option. So you'll have four options in which there can be one answer, there can be two answers, there can be three answers. So you have to uh, solve the question. You have to choose whichever options is the answer, are the answers. And the third one is quantitative comparison in which in this, in this type of question, you'll be given a question, you'll be given quantity A, quantity B. So the options will be like this. Quantity A is greater than quantity B. Quantity A is less than quantity B. Quantity A and B are equal and then the fourth uh, fourth option will be uh, you cannot answer this question data insufficient or you cannot answer this question with the given given data or something like that. So you have to choose one option by comparing by solving and comparing the two quantities. And the fourth type of question is blank type where you you'll be given a question and you'll be given a blank and you have to type your answer. Let's say if your answer is 53, you have to click on the blank. You have to type. 5353 and then you have to go to the next question so coming to the preparation tips so i've used these two resources for my preparation first one is five pound book manhattan five pound book and then the second one is agre set book in which three or four books are uh, quantitative books and the rest three books are rest four books are on verbal so you have to use three or four books in it i guess and then uh, like each section contains 20 questions and you have 35 minutes to solve in quantitative section. So even while you're prepare, preparing or you're solving the questions in, from these resources, you can simulate the exam environment by keeping a 35 minutes timer and then solving 20 questions. In that way, I mean, you can keep a, a track of time and you can keep a track of your performance that, okay, I'm able to solve these many of questions in, in this time. So once you master that, if you are able to solve every question correctly in 35 minutes, try decreasing the time keep 20 questions and keep 30 minutes of time. The more you decrease time, your speed increases and the chance of you doing a mistake increases. So the more you practice, you perfect, you try, I mean, you get accustomed to it and you'll do every question correctly. So do that because I'm saying this because if you save time by solving 20 questions in just 30, 25 or 30 minutes, you'll have additional five minutes to check all the answers where you might've done silly mistake or something like that. So, yeah, and another tip I have is complete five pound book at least two times before you appear for the exam. Five pound book has plethora number of questions. I'm not even sure the number. It will be more than thousand for sure. So try solving at least two times. And if you find if you find any chapter very difficult, try solving it three times. All the questions are uh, like in the same standard of the questions you will be facing in the GRE uh, actual exam day, actual exam. Also, I suggest you to start writing uh, formulas, important key points or small techniques which you are using in your problems in a book uh, in the chap chapter wise so that it can be used to revise uh, all the formulas, all the shortcuts or tips or important examples which you find difficult that can be revised just a, a day before or two days before the exam so that you don't need to go through all the problems again. So what I did was while I was preparing, like while before I solve a chapter, I used to re revise all the basic concepts from 10th, 11th or 12th class textbooks. And I used to make notes. I have these notes. I'll just show you here. 
i listed down every formula every important example every small technique which can be used in quant section it is it came about 60 pages notes so i suggest not to use mine but uh, if you are if you are in the end of your preparation if your exam is in 10 15 days and if you are not able to make one just message me in instagram or linkedin i'll just provide you with that pdf and that should be helpful i guess so the ways you can uh, go through the exam or the ways you can complete the quantitative section in your exam so this one i i've used this technique so you can go through all the 20 questions in first 25 minutes and solve as many as you can so if you practice more you can solve at least 16 to 18 questions out of 20 in just 25 minutes and then you have 10 minutes left you have to solve only four two to four questions so in that 10 minutes in the first 5 minutes try solving the two to four questions which you have left out or which you find difficult you which you found difficult and then in the uh, in the left out left 5 minutes you can check every uh, question you have solved so while you while you are while doing it rough work for the exam don't do it randomly wherever you find the place so do it as if you are writing an exam like uh, put the number 1 solve the question perfectly and then come number 2 and do it so that that helps you while you are checking the exam you can while you are checking the question and answers you can come back to rough work and you can see which procedure you actually followed and how you arrived to that answer so that's how you do the rough work and i have some uh, exam day preparation tips what you can do an exam so don't spend too much time on one question the maximum time you can spend on one question is either 1 1.5 minutes or 2 minutes not more than that because you have 20 questions to solve if you take 2 minutes for every question it will become 40 minutes but you only have 35 minutes to solve so don't spend more than 2 minutes if it's hard question spend 2 minutes uh, i mean don't spend two, more than 2 minutes that's the only thing i can say about it and while you are checking questions you can actually uh, try elimination and substitution so let's say your face question like they've given you two linear equations and they were asked you to solve two variables in it x and y you've got some option so while checking it you don't need to solve it again what you can do is substitute these uh, the answer or the option you got into the question of linear equations and then you can say whether the equation is satisfied or not and then you can say whether you have done it correctly or not so that works and then answer every question don't leave any question because there is no negative marking so if you answer any every question let's say you were not able to solve one question in one section just answer randomly or answer what you think is the closest answer you might get lucky and you might get correct and coming to the calculator some people say don't use calculator you lose time lose time some people say use the calculator but uh, i personally use the calculator because uh, see the there'll be huge calculations in between you'll face double digit or triple digit multiplications so i did not want to do the multiplication separately waste time on it 10 15 seconds again so i just open the calculator do simple calculations if you have simple calculations one digit or two digit uh, calculations you can probably perform it manually and then coming to rough work i already mentioned do rough work as if you are writing actual exam which in which the paper will be corrected so that you you can use that while you are checking your exam so that's it uh, uh, yeah by the way uh, i scored actually 164 i did not score 170 or 169 in the exam so what happened with me was there is data interpretation question in which you'll be given a data in form of graph pie chart or something and you'll be you'll have four or five questions in it so what happened with me was i misread the data and since all the questions are dependent on the data all the five questions were wrong for me so that is the reason i scored 164 if i could have uh, done that correctly i could have scored 169 or 170 so that is the one mistake i did and i cannot change it so while you're doing data interpretation questions be careful read the graph properly mark down all the inputs properly and then properly and then solve it so that's it i hope this video helps you in some of the other way and i'll see you in the next one bye bye